here in the U.S. Uh, and trying to strip and destroy whatever, or Herbert Hoover maybe, uh, destroy uh, the the gains that the American people have made in the 20th century. Michael Parenti, I want to thank you very much for being with us, and I look forward in the new year in 2004 to speaking to you about Julius Caesar. Okay. And you are listening to Democracy Now! as we wrap up our look back at 2003 with perhaps uh, the most well-known dissident in the United States, almost never seen or heard in the corporate media, Noam Chomsky, who has just turned 75 years old on December 7th. When he was 13, Pearl Harbor was bombed on his birthday. The day he turned 47, Indonesia invaded East Timor. He is the author of more than a hundred books, his most recent, Hegemony or Survival, America's Quest for Global Dominance. Welcome to Democracy Now! Noam. Hi, Amy. Thank you very much for joining us on this last day of 2003. Could you share your thoughts um, as a 75-year-old in this country? Thoughts on the past year? Yes. Well, it had... Uh ups and downs, uh, maybe the most uh, uh, positive development uh, indication of a hopeful future was the uh, uh, huge uh, demonstrations against uh, the war in Iraq. Uh, I agree with uh, the words I just heard from Michael Parenti about this. It was clear that it would never stop the war. Nevertheless, it's uh, we should recognize that it's a historically it was a historical event without any precedent in the, the history of the United States or for that matter uh, uh, European imperialism there's never been a case where there was uh, such enormous uh, protest against the war before it was uh, even officially launched uh, that's a sign of uh, significant changes in the United States and in Europe uh, in uh, opposition to uh, uh, aggression and violence. And I also agree with uh, the last words of Michael that I heard about uh, uh, the fact that this was not uh, merely either in the, in the United States or particularly uh, elsewhere in the world, not merely uh, uh, opposition to uh, uh, an aggressive uh, war uh, undertaken without... Uh, credible pretext or international authorization, uh, but against the much broader uh, uh, program uh, of which the war was intended to be an exemplary action, and now we're reaching the low end of the developments of the past year. Uh, the war was understood, I think, correctly to be uh, uh, a demonstration to the world that uh, the United States government means exactly what it said in the national security strategy, namely that it uh, reserves to itself the right to uh, dominate the world by force if necessary, uh, uh, again, without uh, need for pretext or, uh, or, or international support uh, revealed the uh, utter contempt for the institutions of international order that offer some weak protection for those who are defenseless and some uh, hope for uh, uh, surviving uh, a dangerous future. Uh, those were torn to shreds. That continues. Uh, just in the last few weeks, the uh, UN Disarmament Committee has been again uh, meeting, uh, passing important resolutions which never get reported. Uh, calling for an end to uh, the, the uh, militarization of space, which is uh, perhaps uh, one of the greatest threats to survival, uh, uh, reduction of nuclear weapons, uh, 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 creating uh, nuclear-free zones in critical parts of the world like the Middle East. Uh, Noam Chomsky, we're going to have to leave it here, but I look forward to many conversations with you in 2004. Happy birthday and happy new year. You too. Yep. 
And that does it for today's program. If you'd like to get a copy, 1-800-881-2359. That's 1-800-881-2359. Our website, democracynow.org. Democracy Now! produced by Mike Berkshire, Sharif abdel Kadus, Anna Nagara, Elizabeth Press, Jeremy Scahill, Pervez Sharma. Special thanks to Uri Galad, Angela Austin, Orlando Richards, Rich Kim, Mer Joe Mergia, uh, Dennis Moynihan, Eric Romemo, Jenny Filippazzo, Isis Phillips, Carmen Mitchell, Karen Renucci. I'm Amy Goodman. Happy New Year.